is up everybody Kyle here welcome back to the channel today we got a special unboxing the pro wrestling crate month of June box which I have no idea what's in here I've avoided spoilers all week I just know what the micro brawler is so you'll see my reaction the first time I actually see what's in this box so we'll see you know last month was a little uh hit and miss mostly miss for me uh but we'll see what this one's got and then this one, if you guys saw my weekly purchases video that posted up on, what was it, June 27th weekly purchases video, uh, I talked about a little bit about a Mattel surprise package. So I got this in as well. So let's open this one first. We'll do the crate second. Uh, let me set a little backstory here for some of you guys that have not seen this. Uh, Rick Rude, Elite 77 Rick Rude right here. Great figure, except for the staining. Um, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But there's some staining around the shoulders, around the arms. Um, I posted my review as I always do. I posted it up on Twitter, and actually Mattel reached out to me. Uh, they saw that you know, hey, this wasn't the best uh, quality control. Uh, they they reached out. They said, hey, could you send me pictures of the issue, and then uh, give me the uh, numbers that are on the bottom of the feet for both feet. Send those in. Also, how much did you pay? Where did you buy it from? That kind of stuff. So I sent all that in. And they responded right back quickly the same day and said uh, they didn't have Rick Root in stock, which I guess makes sense. Elite 77 just started shipping. But they did say, we will send you a random figure. Kind of weird. Um, you know, how do they know what I have? Obviously, those that watch my videos, I have every single Elite. I'm just missing the two Christians right now in the Trace Rick Root. They will come. But we'll see what mystery Elite they sent me. Uh, so I figured, hey, that'd be a cool unboxing. I have no idea what's in here. It's a, a total mystery. Um, but let's see what we got. Let's see what they sent me. I mean, it's a really nice of Mattel to do that. Uh, I mean, they didn't have to really send you anything. I don't, I don't know what they could ask you to do. But for them to just send me something like that. And this came within two days, which was pretty quick. They said it could take 14 days. Only two. So let's see. Let's see what the magic uh, box has for us. Any guesses? My guesses were like Nia Jax, Elite 65, or the Ronda Rousey, or some of those super peg warmers. Um, but let's see. Oh, Series 75. I saw that right off the top. You know, really good packaging here. They, they sent that in there. What could it be? Oh, I've seen worse. Hurricane Helm. So Elite 75 Hurricane. That's actually a solid figure. Uh, that's extremely nice to Mattel. I mean, they could have dug way back in and grabbed some peg warmers of the past. But to send a, a Elite 75 Hurricane, not the Chase version, the regular version, but still a pretty good figure. Um, you know, I think I might use this uh, possibly for a giveaway I've been threatening. i got to figure out how to exactly do the giveaway and uh, how I want to go about that. But maybe I'll throw that in there or maybe I'll do a trade to somebody or something. Um, maybe they wrote me a note in here. Let's look. Dear Kyle, I love your YouTube channel. I love your Motorhead shirts you wear all the time. Mattel, who knew? Cool. Uh, signed, John Mattel. I think the inventor of Mattel. John Mattel, obviously. Um, no. Didn't send me anything except a packing slip. But, hey, the gesture's cool. Thank you, Mattel. Really nice of you guys to uh, make a customer happy. They didn't have to do any of this, that's for sure. Um, you know, I'm sure they're working hard to get those things fixed. Uh, quality control is a real deal. Um, and they obviously take complaints very seriously as like I said they wrapped up this whole issue within one day so props to Mattel um, let's get to the loot crate or loot crate pro wrestling crate unboxing All right, like I said on this pro wrestling crate I have no idea what's in here I know there's a Brian Myers stomp in paradise micro brawler that's the reason I did buy this to complete that collection um, like I said the last crate didn't really do anything for me I got a few uh, negative feedback hate mail I don't know what you want to call it I didn't take it too personal I don't you know it doesn't matter to me but uh, uh, just not my cup of tea I don't want to wear an elite shirt I don't really want to wear a John Moxley shirt that's really not for me and you know maybe it's for somebody else I get it um, I'm more of a classic guy if I'm gonna wear a t-shirt it's got to be more of classic or, or something like that but um, let's see what's in here let's let's get to the bottom of it let's investigate it enough talking razor blade safety you got to be careful don't want to cut your fingers off here it is. The, the other side of this card contains the contents of this crate. Next month's theme, Making an Impact. 
I did see that micro brawler of Tommy Dreamer with the uh, blood on his face. I would actually love to have that micro brawler. I am not signed up for the crate. Uh, maybe I'll try to find that one on its own. I have thought about keeping a micro brawler collection of just the ECW guys and maybe some of the legends. Uh, I just kind of don't want to do it because of the Taz figure. I know that one's extremely hard to get. Not sure what it's at. Um, but anyways, there's the card for next month. So let's see. Right off the bat, talk heavy, hit hard, Dax and Cash. So it's FTR, formerly the Revival t-shirt. Now that's all right. That's not a terrible shirt. I'll actually maybe will keep this shirt. Actually, before the Revival were super popular, they were just straight out of uh, NXT or still in NXT. I did get to meet them uh, with my daughter. They were really cool to my kid, you know, talked to her forever. I said, hey, don't talk to her. Talk to me. I'm the important one here. Leave her out of this. But no, it was a good time. Really friendly guys. So, And I like the Revival. I don't uh, mind them at all. A nice throwback tag team from when I was a heavy hitter into wrestling, of course. Um, let's see what else we got for t-shirts. Oh my, here we go. The Brain Busters, I think that's what it said. It's gotta be Arn and Tully, right? I don't think there's any other Brain Busters. Yeah, it says right there, Arn and Tully, smartest tag team in wrestling. So that's a, a very, very cool shirt. I will wear this. Uh, this redeemed uh, last month's crate. I mean, I didn't like the shirts last time. This time I'm two for two. So that's just the way it goes, I think, on some of these things. But I love Arn and Tully. Love the horsemen growing up. Love the brain busters. Uh, that's very, very solid. I'm all in on those two t-shirts. So bravo right there. Uh, this is the Stop in Paradise, my Paradise Micro Brawler. Uh, go with the uh, Matthew Cardona version. Very cool. Got the super soakers there. Um, I'm all in on this one. So I needed that for sure. That's the reason I bought it. What is this? A kazoo? Edge and Christian's kazoo. E and C. It's got to be that, I'd imagine. You know, I don't even know how to play a kazoo. I'm guessing right here. No. I'm, I'm new to the kazoo world. I don't think I've ever played a kazoo. I have no idea. No clue. Can you believe that? I have never played a kazoo in my life. I don't even know how it works. I don't know. Well, tells you what I know. I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know how to play a kazoo. I can play some guitar for you. But uh, not a kazoo. This is a difficult instrument. So guitar is a very easy instrument. Uh, it's just the way it goes. Maybe I'll practice uh, later in the day and uh, add it to the video. We'll see. The Steiner Brothers Collector's Pin. I'm not a pin guy. Uh, I don't know. Steiner Brothers. I absolutely love the Steiner Brothers. I would have probably rather had a Revival or FTR pin and a Steiner Brothers shirt, to be honest with you. Um, I guess it is what it is. If you're a pin person, how could you not want the Steiner Brothers in your pin collection? Uh, what do we got here? Tales from the Road, featuring a tale by Crime Time. Okay, a comic book. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Obviously, Shad just recently died. Horrible story, horrible tragedy there. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll thumb through that. That doesn't really do anything for me at all. Um, let's see what uh, autograph picture is in here. Hopefully it's something awesome. Oh, okay, well, you win some, you lose some. That's no, all right. Uh, the North, I believe, from Impact Wrestling, the Tag Team Champions. Uh, Ethan Page right there, fellow figure collector. So you got to give him props there, that's for sure. Um, you know, they, it is what it is with the autographs. It seems like a lot of the autographs uh, last month was Hangman Page. This is the North. Um younger talent i guess uh maybe easier access to them i'm not exactly sure um but there it is there is the pro wrestling crate box of june 2020 much better than the may crate as a whole uh you know that you guys know my feelings by now on that so that's cool mattel really cool you guys to send me the hurricane we'll figure out something to do with that hurricane figure uh real soon um, and that's it. That's our unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I got videos every single day until I don't. <laughs> I have so many things to unbox. Uh, videos, deep dives, you name it. Um, but we're going to keep going daily videos until I run out of things we can do. But uh, I don't foresee that happening anytime soon. So thanks for watching the videos. We'll see you guys all real soon. I told you I'd figure it out.
Ta-da, the Ace of Spades, by Kyle.